All right. So in our last video, we looked at how we can use controllers to handle a request and send a response. So if you are coming to this video with, without you know, looking at the older video, so what we have done so far is installed NestJS and we created a quiz module and we just created this controller which accepts a request on the slash url inside quiz and it responds back with a hard-coded array for now so we were basically understanding the routing and the uh, routing structure and how the controllers will handle them but now we are sending some data right uh, we are sending information from the application back to the client and we would want to understand how the separation of concerns can be done so obviously our application will never send such things to the client there is no point of having an application which sends this kind of an hard-coded data there will be stuff which will have some business logic so we will need a service and a service is like the think tank it has all the business logic inside it so how do we create a service now there are commands but i think for now i'll give you a manual um, step as well so that you understand how things work without the cli as well so we by default get a service when you create a basic nest js application okay and we are now going to follow the same structure so inside quiz i have quiz.service.ts it is going to be a class which we are going to export okay and this should have a decorator which is injectable okay. anything which has an injectable decorator nestjs will know that it can be injected into some other places for example a service will be injected into a controller so that we can use the functions inside the service so we add the injectable decorator and let's just say we have one method over here which is get all quiz and it is going to send this same data from the service obviously the service we have we have added it but we haven't said anywhere you know, that, that we need the service so how do we inject the service now we we add that in injectable over here right so inside the controller what i can do is like if you have worked with laravel or many other frameworks actually you can define dependencies or rather inject dependencies inside the controller and what the framework does is it manages the instantiation of that particular class okay we can do it inside a um, function in in laravel uh, or inside constructor right in java spring boot you can do that even in nestjs you can do the same thing so inside constructor okay i'll have a private variable which is quiz service and this is of type quiz service so this is how um nestjs will know you know what needs to be injected okay but now if i save right I want you to see an error which will come in okay so my app is not running start dev so npm run start dev i will see an error okay and i want to sh show you what happens so it says nest cannot resolve dependencies for quiz controller make sure that the argument quiz service at index zero is available in the quiz module context so which means nest is able to understand that we are trying to send an argument which is quiz module which is inside the constructor of the quiz controller but it is not able to resolve it because there is a proper way of doing it and it says the only way to handle that is let's go into the quiz module 
and is it no it's imports i think imports okay quiz oh i'm sorry not quiz module quiz service okay and now if i hit save okay this is not working imports i think it's not imports hold on a second let's look at here providers right so it is not imports but rather providers okay this module is dependent on this provider service and so it should now work okay and you can see that now the error is gone and if i go to postman and hit save rather send i get the same thing okay so fine so far the array which was sent from the controller is still being saved uh, sent back but the error about injecting the quiz service is gone so if i want to ensure that i am able to send something from here i just do from the service okay and now inside the controller instead of sending this hard coded array i will do this dot quiz service dot get all quiz and we have no error i'll go to postman hit send and you can see that the data which is now coming is from the service and the controller is now completely dependent on the service to get the data i mean send the data and it will just pass it on so i want you to understand the key concept that in this what we have done is not only created a service but we are injecting the service okay this is how the di works inside nest okay and it is important for us to do this declaration inside this decorator which says that inside the providers we have the name of the service which we are using okay so once that is done nestjs knows that this module um is dependent on these providers and that provider is then injected to the controller and then it's a very simple um in a javascript thing all right so that's that's how dependency injection works in nestjs and we will see more concepts of nestjs in the future videos if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yes do share your feedback about what you think about this framework and you know anything which you like about it any things which you don't like like about this framework do share your thoughts 